This is a 4T65E transmission I'm dealing with, and this is the second clutch drum. Normally the second clutch drum there's no problem other than what you need to do always replace this piston because over time with this thin sealing lip seal it leaks. You have no second gear. But also you have to check the drum. And this drum in particular you look at the sealing ring area. If you look down here you see that this drum here is grooved out pretty bad. Okay, that's that's not good at all. If you look at this part, this doesn't have any grooves. You see down here, it does. It's not good. So what you could do, you can try to sand it out. If you can't get rid of this wear mark down here and that groove is still there, take this drum and throw it away. Don't use this drum because you want it to seal. Okay, here's where I did a little sand in here and still I had this, this groove still there. So you have this issue here, you don't want it leaking, having a problem, you got to take the trans back out. So make sure that you get rid of that, throw that thing away and get a better drum. Alright, the next thing I want to show you is on the transmission itself. Something that I do. Alright, on this 4T65, there is a bonded piston, or excuse me, bonded spacer plate, meaning the gasket does not come off. Okay, and when people are rebuilding this transmission, a lot of times, instead of buying a, a bonded plate, from the dealer because that's where you can get it from it costs about thirty dollars they just reuse this even though the gasket is still there however there has been some who've had problems <coughs> with the gasket leaking uh... the fluid bypassing it because it's pressed inside um, i mean it's glued if you try to clean this plate off with a wire wheel going to take you about an hour or two trying to just get all of this stuff off so that's that will take up your time so again people reuse it they put it on and reuse it I don't I don't like doing that either buy a bonded gasket from the dealer or what I have been doing recently and it works fine and it works only because this is so pressed on to the to the plate it's glued on very tightly and has been pressed on over time that it actually has become part of the plate what I do What I do, I take a new gasket. Oh, this is C. Make sure you got the right gasket here, and I put a new gasket on. Right there. Then I take the whole complete plate, gasket and all, and set it on top of this. Make sure all the holes line up in the aftermarket gasket. Okay. So I, then I take the valve body part, this is the valve body, and I put it on top. Just like that. Then I take the valve body and put it on top of this, and then I tighten it. So now you have, you don't have to worry about leaking because you did put a gasket on. So, well, it has two gaskets on. Well, it's it's bonded to the plate so tightly 
that again is part of the plate. So you can make sure that you satisfy yourself changing the gasket by doing what I just did. Okay? And I'm going to go get the valve body and I'm going to put the valve body on here. Okay, so only thing I do next is Take the valve body and put it on. Okay, so you got a chance to see how I do it. Now you don't have to worry about if you have a a gasket that's on a pl pressure plate that's been pressed too much that you may get a cross leak because now you have a gasket underneath that and a gasket on top of it. And you just go ahead and and tighten your bolts down and go on by your business. It will work. I do this all the time. <laughs>